Hello and welcome to Comp. Hi, everybody. Hello, Lucy. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm loving this spring weather. It's nothing but rain and cold, but it's hope because um, we have baseball now. I mean, we went to, a, we went to Mets opening day, uh, which, you know, on, on Friday, on, on, on Good Friday, the day Jesus let himself be, um, you know, hammered to a cross. <laughs> Whoa, well, let him, let himself. I guess he did let himself. He could have stopped it. He was a wizard. <laughs> he, like, he's, he's, look, the whole thing that I don't want to get into this again. All right. <laughs> I was raised Catholic. I know how powerful Jesus was. He could have done stuff. Yeah. He could have done a little light show. He could have played, you know, card tricks. He could have smited people. It's not the point, though. So you're victim blaming Christ a little bit. It's not blaming. It, he wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he didn't want it, but he did. He's like, hey, God, if I can, if you can let this comp uh, pass me over, uh, please do. And, and he waited for a bit. Nothing? All right. All right. We'll do it. But he could have, you know, Pontius Pilate, he could have been like, I'm, I'm, I'm a good guy. Yeah. He didn't bother. He said, whatever you, whatever you want to do. He could have complimented Pontius Pilate. Matter, we're talking about the baseball game. <laughs> Actually, before we get into the baseball game, you just reminded us. You just brought something up. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the story about when I got scolded on Good Friday? No. Uh, there was like a, 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 a like a, my mom, my brother, and I were were at uh, a, like McDonald's on yeah. Good Friday one year. <laughs> Someone scolded you. Like, well, why are you at McDonald's on Good Friday? <laughs> yeah. Even. <laughs> we guys getting like fish, nice fish fillet sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that's that's the sacrifice they intended. <laughs> Jesus intended. Why don't you get yourself a nice fish fillet and a large fry? In a high C. I think that he would want us to have a fish fillet. What, 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 why would he take issue with that? Because it's delicious <laughs> and greasy. And you get a side of fries. When you're going to dip it in the barbecue sauce and the sweet and sour. Well, well, what do you guys eat on Good Friday? Did you, we, you, we, ate, we, ate, we ate seasonless cod. <laughs> just cod with nothing on it. Just boiled cod. Mm. My, mom, my mom would put cod in a bag. Boil it mm. and say, "Here you go. You, this is what Jesus wants. <laughs> He's on the cross, bleeding from the hands. <laughs> you want that? You want to drink some of that blood, <laughs> or you want some boiled cod?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we were at McDonald's. Yeah, uh, like real. What do you call? What did your family call them? A and P Catholics. Yeah, well, that's because they, they would show up uh, at the church only on Ash Wednesday and Palm Sunday. I did like getting my ashes and palms as yeah, a kid. I never liked that. I was always very humble about it. Don't mm. get, don't, don't, I, I, I never just throw the point. I said, why don't you put the ashes, you know, uh, to some homeless guy? It's a big tease of why don't you ash, Why don't you ash up a homeless guy? They're big teases in the Catholic Church. They want you to, like, do stuff. They want you to do all these rituals but not enjoy any of them. Right. They, want, did, they, want, they, want, they want you to, like, mope around like a... Like a, like a, like a like a victim of some abuse, <laughs> and, uh, and and you know they, it's like they want to flaunt it. Yeah. What they're doing behind the doors. My my mom always used to say like you shouldn't get the you shouldn't get the Eucharist unless you're feeling holy, like, like unless you're feeling like in touch with God. Well, that's a bit it's much. A, it's sinful to get the Eucharist. A, your mom, your mom did not know how to like dumb stuff down for kids. <laughs> first of all. And like, it doesn't, no one said that. No one ever said that. You can't, you have to be, you have to, you, you're supposed to go and get confession first so that you're, you, you prep yourself. Yeah. Spiritually. But like this, what, you just have a deep personal connection. Like what is, what kind of hippie bullshit is that? <laughs> what, what is she, what is your mom? What, I mean, look at your mom's, I never met her, but whatever. She's great. But you know, like. Enough. Yeah. No, you don't have to. You don't need a bespoke connection to God to get the Eucharist. Right. You just can't like you have. If, you know, if if you touch yourself, you have to tell the priest. Because I guess some kids like chewing on it a little too much, maybe. Yeah, my, like, my my mom would like take the Eucharist away from kids who were like you know playing with it, uh, and you're not supposed to bite it. I think I think you're supposed to just let it dissolve in your mm -hmm. mouth. You're not really supposed to chew on it. She might have. I bet my mom would have taken. You know, if she saw someone chewing it. Yeah. She might say, but she definitely would like <laughs> swipe it from kids, and the parents would be like, and, and like she would. I looked, I stared them down, but I feel like they were just like they thought she was a crazy person, right? I mean, if if any, if any woman ever touched my like anything, to my I mean, I wouldn't let my kids run wild, 
But if it was like, what happened? Did, did they did they did they sexually abuse you or something? What, like why why did you strike you know touch my child? Mm. And they're like, oh they were they were playing with the you I was I was a punster <laughs> before she could say Eucharist. <laughs> like oh that oh okay I'm gonna knock her out. <laughs> her head I mean like if she if she could have died by her head the back of her head hitting the pew I wouldn't care. I'm saying if I was if you know not. To my mom, but I'm saying if my mom did what she did to me <laughs> as a parent or another child, my child, I would like I would be like, oh, oh, did, or are they? Did they, did they do something horrible and criminal to you? Oh, no, they were just playing with the Eucharist before they, you should get the and Eucharist out. My fist would have just <laughs> follow through. <laughs> Don't touch my kid. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna let them become like you know disgusting like people in Amityville who like mutilate bodies. Right. That's not what my, I'm not. You know, if if if, they were, if she was stopping that, I would have been like, oh, good good you call. Wait, yeah. Nice. Well done. <laughs> I'm not just here to hit my mom. <laughs> that's, not, that's, not, that's not the point. So I, I guess you could say, yeah, my mom. You know, props to her because she was playing with fire. <laughs> But the kind of people who go to church, I guess, you, I would have thought, no one will I know about people who go to church, because no one ever seems that happy. No one, and I don't mean like happy, I mean like, no one seems better off for having, you know, gone regularly to church. They all seem more screwed up than the pe other people I knew. Yeah. And it didn't seem Gnarled to be. up. Yeah, it didn't seem like a great life plan. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, knowing that, I'm surprised more people weren't waiting to punch each other. Right. But you didn't really see a lot of fights break out. Because I guess they're weak. Yeah, you know, I guess it's true. The kind of person who accepts, like, you know, <laughs> no, no, he, he, he could have stopped it, but he didn't. Oh. Right. Oh, yeah, those are the personalities. He's, that... There's three gods. There's the ones. They are enough. <laughs> you're going to sell me. Sell me. Oh, yeah, but you got a PS5 to sell me, too. Let <laughs> me go out to your van. What is this? Uh, but anyway, we got into a religious discussion here. Yeah. But I really, oh, no, oh, yeah, you. But anyway, go ahead. So as I was, so we were sitting at McDonald's yeah. eating our good for, Good Friday meal, <laughs> and uh, there was like a guy, and I like, I basically like, there was there was like a a, a fat guy eating eating alone. You don't say. At, at a at a table near us. Was and, it me? <laughs> <laughs> there, there is. Go on. <laughs> There's a bad guy eating alone near us. And Did I, he smell bad? <laughs> I, I mean, you know, he was kind of like spilling out of his. He was spilling out of his clothes a little bit. Oh, in like sure. A, a somewhat nasty way. <laughs> and so I, I go, <laughs> and so I just kind of like, I, I just started giggling and like, you know, like I couldn't stop giggling when I started back that day. Wow. So they were just like, they were like, you have to tell it, you have to tell us what you're laughing at. Cause yeah. you keep, cause we can't, fo we can't, can't talk while you're giggling like this. Yeah. Not just. And so I just, <laughs> that, 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 I'm <laughs> laughing at that very fat man. And I go, heck and I said, like, maybe a little bit too loud that it's, ah, that guy's so fat. Like, oh, you know. wow. You, on Good Friday. That, that was your gift to Jesus? Well, that's that's exactly what my mother said. <laughs> you you pre-cogged it. She, Wait, she literally said that? Uh, you know, yeah, she was like, that's a horrible thing to say on Good Friday. I'm so yeah. disappointed in you. Sure. Yeah. She didn't use my line, though, right? It wasn't, my line was better. <laughs> your mom probably said something like, that's not good to say on Good Friday. Mumbled and said good twice. <laughs> She doesn't have the eloquence of me. That's that, your gift to Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this is Christ's birthday, you know. And I tried. And I did. I tried to get back. I tried to get back at her the next day because she got mad in the car. And she, okay. She, okay. She, she got mad in the car and called some guy an asshole while she was driving. Oh. And so I tried to get back at her and be like, "That's a bad thing to say on a uh, good Saturday." I didn't even know that it had a name at that. Holy I, Saturday. Uh, holy Saturday. And she pulled a gun out on you. She, she, she just goes, "Yeah, whatever." <laughs> oh wow, that's a great way. To, yeah, as, as my, you you can hand these you can hand these people on a silver platter, religious shame, and they'll just serve you up just whatever. Yeah, like all you had, to, all she had to do was like it was, it was so easy to weave out of these. Uh, all you had to do was like, uh, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Uh, go holy, I would I would I would just. Jerk the car. Like, I would jackknife it. You don't even it. know what it's called. I would jackknife it. Then you want to meet Christ? <laughs> you know where he lives? So where dead people go. <laughs> you want to play this game? On, the, on, on this day of all days? 
Christ hasn't risen yet. You want you want to see if we can beat him to heaven? <laughs> but yeah, sure. What? Yeah, whatever. I guess works too. Yeah. This has been a long way to go to get to. We went to a Mets game. Yeah, we went to a Mets game. We went to opening day. It was not planned. Uh, it was kind of a last minute thing. I only heard about it because the first one was canceled from rain. Uh, I thought the game stunk. Yeah, it was pretty it was slow. boring. Uh, I mean, you could say baseball stinks. I ain't gonna argue. I mean, it's fine. Whatever. I'm not one of these guys who like talks about, you know, Ken Burns docs and goes, you know, what about the, 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 the straw hat man or whatever myth you know. It's American, a great American pastime. <laughs> some kind of straw hat talking about talking, talking fondly about the Jim Crow era. <laughs> <laughs> it's like whatever. But uh, but, uh, but uh, you know, yeah, there was a little kid who kept trying to get in and out. She kept, just kept. Yeah, pissing and shitting. Yeah, I didn't want to like shame him on our platform, Dr- but sure, let's let's Dr- go. Dr- let's find his name. Yeah. Let's find his address. <laughs> he he kept drinking slushies. <laughs> I had a line that kept saying over it was I wanted to yell. Oh, something like <laughs> I want. I wanted to start screaming. At him. I'm like, what you? It didn't make sense at the time. It still doesn't make sense. But I I, I, I almost screamed at him. Like, you know, <laughs> why are you drinking so many slushies? Your dad died in the Persian Gulf War. <laughs> one day I'm gonna say one. I mean, Get him what he wants. His dad died in the Persian Gulf. <laughs> I should have said that. I well, I should start really just speaking my mind in public. I mean, I I, I they, yell at people a lot. They were lavishing him with with treats the way you would the way a, a child of trauma you would lavish a child of trauma. It's with just treats. I had to keep getting up because he's just <laughs> I'm not gonna let some kid rub past me. He's like, no, hold on, I, don't because these stadiums are built, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's not just because I'm a very. I'm, I'm, I'm the guy from McDonald's and Lucy's story. It's, it's also because even, even Lucy had, had to get up to let this guy. You know, these yeah. stadiums are built like you know, like sardine cans now. Mm. And I'm not. I'm not letting. I'm not running Nickelodeon over here. So I'm not letting some kids slide past me. I'll get out of the way. <laughs> All right. Um, but whatever. It's 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 the time of spring. It's time of fun. Enjoying ourselves. Let's get a gun. Uh, <laughs> what else happened in this week? Whatever. Um, you know, it was, it was a time to see family. Yep. That's yeah. it. I no no description there. Shout out to family. <laughs> but moving on. Um, before we we we're gonna get into into some current events, if you will. Uh, but before we do, remember, uh, Comp Podcast has a Patreon, and if you uh. It's the kind of thing you, if you like comp, and why wouldn't you? Because I just spent ten minutes talking, you know, about my religious shame, and Lu- <laughs> and, Lu- and Lucy made some veiled attack at me through through some past fat man. <laughs> it's a perfect podcast. So you get an extra episode of of comp every week for five bucks a month. I think it's a pretty good deal. And we've been doing a lot of cool content on the Patreon lately. We just we, we we're in the middle of a five part science fiction. Um, and now uh, series on our comp dump tier, which is a little bit more, but whatever. You don't have to do that one. There's all sorts of stuff. I have to get to Disney, though. So if you like it, do it. Don't. I, it's fine. Disney. <laughs> so what's going on here? We have Disney. Is, has, there's apparently been a proxy fight going on at the Disney Corporation. Head back up to that. I need, I need the top of this. For five, um, for a year now, apparently. Disney's fight with Nelson Peltz will come to a head tomorrow, which is actually going to be the day we air this. So today, as I'm saying this, who the hell knows what's going on? It's business inside of the people who like, you know, like, uh, what's the word? Hogwaddled David Portnoy. Hogwaddled. What's that? They you know, ambushed them. Yeah. They ambushed these people. Are we how trusting how these people? Him? They tried to get him to talk about stuff when, like, you know, they had no sources. I don't know. Yeah. I remember, look, I'm pretty sure. Oh, like a Me Too thing? I'm not getting on this outfit side. I don't know what David Portman was up to. I don't know the man. Yeah. But he seemed to make embarrassment out of these people. (laughs) These people seem, like, ill-tacted. And I love to meet Dave Portnoy. Let's let's, let's become friends, Dave Portnoy. I just shit on Business Insider. Let's, Let's go eat a pizza together. Oh, wow, you're really wearing your heart on your sleeve there. <laughs> well, he's got that whole gimmick where he eats the pizza. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Why don't we make friends, Lucy, instead of enemies? <laughs> we need to expand our network of people. 
<laughs> Do we have enemies? I would love some enemies. I'd love to get some enemies. Hey, Portno, if you want to be our enemy, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> either one. The pizza thing is dumb. <laughs> Shit, we screwed up already. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, Disney's fight with so Nelson Peltz. Uh, let's read through some. Read some of this to me, please. I can't read. Uh. The battle between Disney CEO Bob Iger and activist investor Nelson Peltz's Tryon partners will come to a head on Wednesday when House of Mouse shareholders finally. I hate to- when people, by the way, say House of Mouse in like business. Like you'll see it in, the, in like in like the Financial Times of London. Yeah. In the House of Mouse. It's too cute of a name. Yeah. For business discourse. You know what these people have done? Yeah. <laughs> it's like calling Blackwater the House of Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when House of Mouse shareholders finally have a chance to weigh in on the proxy fight that's been going on for more than a year. The shareholders' decisions at the annual meeting will serve as a referendum on the future of Disney. A vote for the Disney's slate of board dire- of board members will show support for Iger's performance. Oh, whatever. Season. Look, this is not that hard. I don't understand why it's problems. problem. It's not that hard to run Disney. What's the issue here? You know, you, you get a, an animal of some sort. Some stupid animal, like a like a, like a like a tiger or a lion, and you and you, and you get some princess, some some vir, quote unquote virginal princess, and then you imply that they they have sex together, right? Yeah. You, you bestiality, you make a song, you get some gay guy to write a song, even though there's no gays in the thing, no right. gays are allowed. Right. Gays, this, gays in the back. Gays in the back. Not in the front. Not in the front. You get you know you you get some. If you want to get avant garde, you get some alien to hang out with a Hawaiian girl. These are not. <laughs> these are not like. What are we? Are, this is what these two guys are like. You know, ha, it's like they're hashing out like oil versus like you know coal. You know. Yeah. Cold fusion. It's like it's a it's it's slop. The <laughs> Korean like kids have to drill. Well, now it's Bangladeshi kids probably. Mm. You know, so, and sometimes it, North Korean. Wait, wait. I would bet they South are. Korean, North in North Korean. Well, but South Korea wouldn't be that bad. They're you're pretty you know good economy. I read a graphic memoir one time about a guy who worked in the animation industry and some of the the stuff that he did in North Korea. Well, South Korea probably. No, but North Korea. Really? Yeah. Well, is this before the war? Maybe uh, no, it was after. Interesting. Yeah. So the uh, that's really I didn't realize that they were such good artists in North Korea. Well, you know, if, if, fish, if they could be efficient, I guess. Sure. At a certain point. I I would. Look, I, I wouldn't mind a totalitarianism if I could draw like a guy a guy in a hat and the hat was like proportional to his head. I can never do that. Yeah. <laughs> I would let them like, you know, whatever, burn my kid. Yeah. Just teach me how to put volume into my pictures. I, perspective. Three point yeah. perspective. I, you know, they lose me at that point. I think I can draw I can draw a stick figure, but then, you know, the legs are always the wrong size. Mm. Yeah. I never get that. I would love to, I, I don't you know, feed me gruel, whatever. I could, like like a stand eats some gruel. Um, but yeah, uh, you're right. It's simple. This stuff is simple. Why? Why? What? what what's the problem? They, 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 they're making too many. Don't they make these like you know mysteries in Venice movies with with, with with Kenneth Branagh? Yeah. Stop that. When's the last time you had a mouse? You call the house a mouse. I haven't seen Mickey in 25 years. <laughs> right? Yeah. I don't think he's that great, but it's your whole gimmick. When was the last time they did something about a dog? Never. Kids love dogs. Pluto. The lady in the tramp. Yeah. Make a dog. I mean, I'm sure like a million people will say, oh, you didn't see this? No, I didn't watch that movie because I don't have kids. <laughs> I don't care. Cat. And don't tell me, don't tell me that there's some goofy movie. I guess the goofy movie, because Goofy's a dog. You have Goofy the dog. You have Pluto the dog. You have you the know, tramp dogs. Why didn't, like, everyone love Lady and the Tramp. Why didn't he become the icon? The, you, you, Mickey, wasn't Mickey like a racist thing? I don't care if it wasn't he. <laughs> yeah, you know it was a great movie? I don't even know if this is a Disney movie. Right. Cats Don't Dance. That was a great movie. I never heard of this. The cats cats don't, don't Dance? Cats Don't Dance. It's a whole movie about cats who want to be performers. I don't think it's, this is true. I think you're making this up. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's called Cats Don't Dance. Can't, cats Don't Dance. What's the plot of it? Um, a cat wants to dance. He wants to be a performer. Who's telling him he can't? Like the cat, <laughs> the cat Illuminati? The world. The world is telling him he can't. You're telling me that this world who can't shut the hell up about a goddamn cat <laughs> doing, a, you know, just making a weird face because it's sitting in a bodega all day and someone's feeding it Velveeta cheese. And it's just kind of going, oh, 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 oh. 
And everyone's like, look how cute this cat is. We'll call him Grumpy Cat. I can't digest this. <laughs> but we're going to stop him from dancing? That just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Who is, this is like coded for for like sociopaths. Yeah, well, it was a different time back then. When? I guess. when, when? But, when I don't know, in the 90s? The Third Reich? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, a cat. Is there anything more you can find about this? Uh, well, yeah. yeah I'll, let's, I'll look, let's look into this. I'll bring it up. Cats don't dance. Cats don't dance. But this is actually a real movie. Are we sure this is a Disney movie? Yeah, it's yeah. great. Wait, hold on. Is it Disney? It doesn't look like it's Disney. It looks like it's... um. Oh, it's Warner Brothers. It's Warner Brothers. You have... <laughs> well, you have well really, I said I wasn't sure if it was Disney, but... You have really... They could take a page out of Warner we, Brothers. We right? just took a huge swing at Disney. <laughs> and then we're, now we are exposed because cats don't dance. The, well, I thought it was a, a made-up thing. But apparently... Uh, <laughs> And also in 1939. Wait, wait, that's literally when they invaded the, the third. This is the third Reich. Hold on. Wait. This and is basically al- the plot of the man in the high castle, but with cats. <laughs> and in alternate 1939, in a world where humans and anthropomorphic animals coexist. Right. right yeah, okay. Uh, Danny, an, optim- an optimistic cat from Kokomo, India, travels to Hollywood in hopes of starting an acting career there. After me, I mean, so. So honestly, the cats. So it's basically about Jews not being allowed. But that's not true, though. Like you would assume this is about like a racist thing. Like oh, the Jews won't be allowed to be that. But they, but there's plenty of Jews. Jews have always been good actors. I guess. So it could, I, don't, I don't know who what this is a parable for. I guess it could be about about black people, maybe. I guess, but cats. Yeah, I never. I didn't think of this as an allegory while I was watching it as a child. I mean, but- it's not an allegory. It's just insanity. <laughs> What is, what is this supposed to teach a kid? <laughs> and why is this such a, a frivolous industry as the Hollywood? This is literally like what, this is literally what like all this inclusion crap is based on, this movie. Mm. Everything, everything where it's like, there's not enough cats <laughs> in, uh, in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> you know, in the Lord of the Rings uh, Amazon reboot, we have to make the cats black and the, and the, and the, and the freaking mouse Chinese. <laughs> Just tell the cat story, whatever. I mean, I'm all for Chinese, uh, what did I say? Chinese. Rats? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what they were. <laughs> oh, don't make them rats. What is that? Nothing can be a rat. <laughs> every, 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 rats are so evil. You can make anything a rat. It's a problem. <laughs> I guess it's because people, you know, propaganda. Mm. Whatever. I didn't invent the world. <laughs> we want me to do apologize for everything? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to whoever. What did I just offend? <laughs> Care. Come at me, Portnoy. <laughs> anyway, um, did you like this movie? I love this movie. Well, I thought it was great. Uh, Tilly you know. the hippo, Cranston the goat, Francis <laughs> the fish. This is really Francis <laughs> the fish. Is anyone trying in this company? Is this Warner Brothers? TW the tortoise? What is this about? This, this seems like it was made by a bunch of. Who are those guys? The. Uh, who are those? Who are those guys? The uh, the free the people in, in court, sovereign citizens. It seems like it's made by a bunch of sovereign citizens. <laughs> Danny's just made on learning how minor his role is. Oh, so he gets a role, and he tries weaseling his way into more time in the spotlight. This, this doesn't seem like a very objective plot description. <laughs> he tries weaseling his way into more time in the spotlight. Danny unwittingly angers Darla Dimple, a popular a spoiled child actress. And star of the film, she probably has her gigantic butler, Max, intimidate Danny against further attempts. To This seems like a very random plot. <laughs> this doesn't seem to have a lot of pathos. I don't know if uh, Joseph Campbell would sign off on this. I don't think he's really, you know, I don't think Darla Dimple's part of the hero cycle. <laughs> but you liked it, so. Uh, so what you, you as a shareholder, you would come into the Disney meeting and say, why don't we make a sequel to Cats Don't Dance? <laughs> Try that. Let's get the rights. Look, I know kids love animals, and no movie has more animals, more different types of animals in it than Cats Don't Dance. Man, that's not a Disney film. Please sit down. We could acquire it from Warner Brothers and then maybe make a sequel of our you, you own. Make a, you want to make a mockery out of us? We, we're Disney, and you want us to start buying property? 
from other companies? We did it with Marvel. <sighs> Lee's got a point. <laughs> we are kind of just creatively bankrupt. <laughs> why, can't, why can't we do the, the suicide thing I talked about? <laughs> no, we all just set ourselves on fire and there's a, there's a cool band. And then I shoot my... All right, whatever. Uh, sure. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Always trying to kill myself. Um, I don't know. Do you have any other ideas with Disney? They could. Um, maybe they could just become. What about a credit card? Why isn't Disney just a bank at this point? Why do I have to go to a bank and ask and ask them for a house mm. to be in for a mortgage? Why can't I, there's no one I trust more than Dumbo? The people who made Dumbo and the people who made Pinocchio and and, and, and Beauty and the Beast, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of kidding, but this, this is actually real. Why aren't, have they not thought of this? Why the hell, what's the point of building up all this trust if you're not going to fleece people on a mortgage? <laughs> this is like, honestly, like, I mean, I shouldn't even be giving this away. This is a great idea. I can't use it because I'm at Disney. I mean, I don't, I don't have, a, like, you know, 100 years of, like, you know, um, stupid, you know, insipid cartoons that like, half of which are racist to like, you know, fall back on. Yeah. So I can't make my bank this way. That has to be based on pure financial fuckery. But I mean, I don't know why they did it. Look up. Does Disney have a Disney credit card? Like, has ever something they, they ever tried that? That seems like the whole point of making a stupid scam like this. Um, Disney Chase credit card, Disney vaca- vacation financing. Yeah, they really got in that whole, fu- you know, hey, come eat our slop. Yeah. They really should have gotten in the mortgage game. Imagine, like, pay extra points, but, you know, once a year, um, some guy in a goofy mask, you know, comes and, like, sings happy birthday to your kids, and he probably tries to goose them. <laughs> yeah, you keep your guard up. <laughs> I have an idea for Disney. Sure. Somebody needs to come along and take animated pornography to the next level. I, I, do, I do not endorse this. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it should be Disney. Disney. I don't think. Disney. <laughs> go at, on. Disney for adults. Disney after dark. Disney. We're going to. All, all of that. That cheap kind of knockoff porn that you see on the sides of the porn site. Never seen it. <laughs> go, no idea what you're talking about. Simpsons porn. What? Go <laughs> <laughs> Don't Beauty, include me. Beauty and the Beast porn. You know, it looks <laughs> disgusting. It doesn't look like anything anybody would want to watch. <laughs> but it's not <laughs> Dan, but what if it was really high production quality? Wait, like you want you want you want to bring back like, you know, cell animation for hentai? For American <laughs> hentai? Yes, exactly. Innovating American hentai <laughs> with with Disney IP. Interesting. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know why you're trying to accelerate dystopia so fat quickly. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's coming. Wait, look, look, we're just talking bottom line here, right? Sure, sure. I mean, look. We're, I, we're talking the bat, the bratty bottom line here. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm Iger. This guy, this guy Pelts, is that his name? <laughs> Make his full screen again for me, please. Bring that article back. This guy's name is Pelts, right? Uh, Pelts. A, a self-described bully billionaire, Pelts. <laughs> so what? I, so he he he's making his case. He wants to like probably cut debt and, and whatnot. And I'm Bob Iger, the the besieged CEO of Disney. And my response to bully billionaire Bob. Uh, so like, why don't you you know give me a little runway here? Hey, why don't you uh, put me in charge of your company, you little bitch? Why, why, I, I got I got billions of dollars. What do you have? Not uh, that. Well, um, I, I mean, well, hold on. Uh, we do have a new idea. Um, we wanted to bring up at the meeting. It's um, it's pretty innovative. So you know, Mr. Peltz, please you know, show some decorum. I'd like to announce this new um, project. Uh, it's a it's a um, Amer- uh, the, the Disney the American Hentai Project from Disney. <laughs> uh, I'm told there's a lot of demand for um, this hentai type of situation. <laughs> it involves animals and having sex with each other, which... What, ki- what kind of animals? Uh, I guess the ones we operate, you know, was, was the teacup. Oh, okay, so the teacup and the, and the candlestick getting together physically, mm-hmm. things like that. 
uh, naked. I thought I don't. Are they wearing clothes? I don't know how this works. If it's a lot, of, I can I can bring in some people for the details, but it's basically you know cartoon porn using our creatures, our various creatures. <laughs> uh, um, I, I'm, I, I, you you people. We have to no. We're not going to sell it to kids. <laughs> only for so adults only. So new for adult, a new one for our adult clients. Some for them. You people are disgusting. No, this is good. This You're, is going to be good. This, I'm a family man. <laughs> I thought this was a family business. I mean, this is what we've been working You're, up to for years. You're sick. What is this even based? What's hentai? What I, is that? I mean, don't we draw I, dicks in the, in the clouds anyway? What's, what, why is this different? Yeah, that's in the clouds. That's subtle. That's artistic. <laughs> that's, something for the, that's something for the parents. That's, 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 uh, that's, uh, it's not pornographic. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm told that people want to watch the teacup have sex. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Who told you that? I, we, have, we have a bunch of guys. <laughs> the guys here, consultants. They come to my office and you're late at night and they tell me they have charts and they show me they show me pictures of, of Goofy, Philayton. Um who's the thing? Sebastian the fish? <laughs> that thing? What is he? A, gu- a guppy? <laughs> Sebastian. What is, what is Sebastian? Is he some sort of oh, he's, a, he's a crab. He's a, oh, the crab, okay. Who's the yellow fish? Flounder. Goofy's got him on. His, you know, he's, 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 he's using his mouth. Oh, God. It's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and the crab's there. The crab's in the ass doing stuff with the ass. <laughs> it's, it's, it, I mean, I, again, we, you know, we, can, we, can bring, we can bring in experts here. They can, they can go over all the details. Um, all the princesses, they can, they'll be in various mm. positions, I'm told. Um <laughs> What? What's the problem? <laughs> my daughter looks up to those women. Well, she's that's really not. Right. She's for my forty-two-year-old daughter <laughs> <laughs> looks up to those women. Maybe we can make a bank. Start a bank. Anyone think of that? We can give people mortgages. <laughs> and I, I don't know. <laughs> this sucks. I should have stayed retired. Poor porn mortgages. <laughs> porn mortgage. Uh well. Speaking of uh, sinking ships, going down with the ship. Kate Middleton's not doing well. <laughs> but that's too much. I'm on her side. <laughs> what? I'm on her side. Oh. I'm. Oof. I know we're not fans of the British on this show. No, but. we usually don't. We. Oh, God. She doesn't. Wow. Well, this is her revenge now. This is what she's doing now. <laughs> it's like, you don't want me photoshopped here. So I think we Look covered. My dying face. We, we covered them. Did we cover this in the last episode? Maybe we did. Maybe we did. But the, 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 the that there was an issue with the Photoshop. That, that people were mad that, that Kate Middleton was photoshopping her Mother's Day. Was it, what was it? Uh, her Mother's Day. Photo. I didn't even have a Mother's Day in Britain because uh, of the war or whatever. And so they, she photoshopped her Mother's Day picture. Mm. And um, people were speculating, I guess, because, you know, at the time I was like, well, what could she possibly be covering up for? Yeah, Oh, there's a hand here. There's no line. Like, well, 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 all right. So the kid's making the face probably. I guess she was covering up like Carposi sarcoma or something. Like scars, cancer scars. Mm. Lesions. Yeah. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's unfortunate she has cancer. Uh, yeah. What a uh, little pricks. What is, yeah. I mean, honestly, what is, what is the British? I mean. We have the freedom of the press, and we don't even do this. So we we summon this to me. I like to know some context here. What is people again? With people Magazine. We were talking about on the Patreon. They have people was covering the Puff Daddy case. They were like they, they, they were like they were like leak, you know people were leaking affidavits to People Magazine. Yeah. They seem to have their their fingers and everything now. Right. I don't know what people's up to. Kate Middleton carefully chose when to share the news of her cancer diagnosis with the world. Even that, it's like it's like this bitch. This is what they're saying. This bitch thought she could, on her own terms, tell us she had cancer. <laughs> she would try to pull a fast one on us. <laughs> Some wondered if increasingly frenzied conspiracy theories and online rumors about the Princess of Wales' health and whereabouts amid her private recovery following abdominal, abdominal surgery in January drove Kate42 to announce the news. No, I'm sure it had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Despite the hype around Prince William's last-minute absence from the memorial, memorial service for his late godfather, his late god, who cares? Who the hell is this guy? This has got to stop. Britain <laughs> has got to, like, start invading countries again. Colonial, yeah. This is what happens when you don't have colonialism. 
this woman's got like you know, <laughs> like she's 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 Christ on the on the British cross. <laughs> her cancer is like is the, is is the crucifix. Jesus, I'm I'm on her side. Um, in controversy around the family's UK Mother's Day photo, which multiple global photo agencies dropped due to suspicion of manipulation. <laughs> Princess. God forbid that she, she she covers up the vomit right. from, her, from her feeding tube. <laughs> Princess Kate timed the announcement to when to to when was best for her kids. Bitch. It doesn't seem like she did. It seems like she. It seems like you guys just kind of bullied her into saying it publicly. Yeah. yeah. So that you know. This is like the. I mean, I, to be fair, like I don't know why there's a king in England, but I also don't know why America, you know, is right. <laughs> Whatever it is. Um. So, so I'm not judging. That being said, uh, this seems like the best case scenario for the monarchy. This family, you know, William's you know, William could stand to have some hair, but who am I to judge? Uh, but you know, Kate's attractive. She was, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, no. I mean, she looks like a mom who used to be hot now. Yeah, which is you know, but, she looks until like. the cancer. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Uh, the kids are cute enough, you know, and then, but they're not like you know. I'm about to say the Nickelodeon material, but you know, <laughs> they're fine. Uh, <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know what drives the, the people who run Nickelodeon. Right. I, don't, I wouldn't know. I'm not part of the, the board. But uh, I'm looking at this family. It's like, do you want? Do you want Megan and, and, and Harry doing their shit? <laughs> Is that what you wanted? <laughs> I mean, honestly, you drove that woman out of England, and I'm not saying she didn't deserve it. She was, she, she you know, yeah. The, the American, what is it again? The American Jubilee. American Riviera Orchard. Yeah, you, you, you if you're not careful, you, you're bringing the American Riviera Orchard back into into England. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Look, I'm sure Meghan Markle would have let you, like, you know, do a do a zoom in on her legion. On a biopsy. Yeah. Biopsy Tuesdays with fucking Meghan Markle. <laughs> um, she would have done a sexy legion shoot. Mm, that would have been nice. I mean, that, that really is the last frontier. Mm. It's cancer porn, right? No one really does that. <laughs> never seen that. I've never seen, like, sick, like, <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a subgenre. Me neither. I'm just saying. I, I, I don't think anyone wants that. I think, I, I think if anything, it's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a nice salad. You want it to be vibrant and, 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 and full of v- vitality, right? Mm-hmm. But you know, whatever. Yeah. They need be, sick people need to make some money. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna begrudge them. Moving on. <laughs> uh, Kensington Palace. I don't know what that means. Release. Is that is that the the, the, the second tier uh, Buckingham Palace? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm, I've never heard of it before. Release Prince Kins William Prince Kate's self written speech. I mean, the people who read people. Like at, read this like we we read like news, which all makes sense to them, and they're just kind of like oh interesting, and they're they're eating the croissant and they're scanning this, they're folding it the way you fold the New York Times <laughs> in the subway, yeah, you know? <laughs> and it's all like oh yeah no this is I, this is this is I need this information to start my day. <laughs> I don't understand. I, mean, I got to read the whole article, so I'm sure I'm informed about it. <laughs> they do that I, weird the th- where they use their finger to scan it around in a serpentine fashion. <laughs> they're highlighting. Yeah. Uh, um, is there anything else there? I mean, the woman's got cancer. Yeah. Is she going to live? Um, I mean. She still looks good. They never seem to die. These bring, bring me back the, can- the cancer picture. She still looks good. Yeah. She's a good woman. I'd like, to, I'd like this to be the new look. Just her. I'd like to see her flop herself around like this at the next Jubilee. I want her to keep looking like this, but then also start wearing titty shirts. <laughs> <laughs> she shows up to like. The changing of the guard <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a halter top. Yeah, like bedazzled halter sh- tops. With a catheter, catheter hanging out of her uh, a female. Do females have catheters ever? Is there a v- v- some tube Maybe. hanging some tube hanging down her mini skirt. A mysterious tube. Yeah, <laughs> leaking, <laughs> full of IV fluid. Just just, just drinking some be- drinking a be- IV beef feeder while she's har- sexually harassing one of those beef feeder guards. <laughs> Yeah. A multi purpose fluid tube. Yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah. Let Kate be Kate. So this is nice. So good for her. Yeah. We're glad you're not dead. Hope your ab- abdomen's 
doing okay. I guess she was coming up with an abdomen scar, maybe. A gross abdomen scar. Mm. What, what was she wearing? A crop top? I don't know. I mean, I don't <laughs> think so. I don't, I don't know what she, I don't. I still don't get how this covered up cancer. <laughs> but whatever. Enjoy. Enjoy it, England. Moving on. Um, so I guess I've been, I've been, te- this is no, it's not a new story. It's been, this documentary came out a few weeks ago, right? But Nickelodeon, um. Yeah, we haven't talked about this yet. So Dan, this Dan, is it Dan Snyder? What's his name? We should be careful about who, who, who's the guy. Scroll back up. Be please. careful about it? I don't know. I, I'm not, this is the middle of the article. I want to make sure we're getting the right guy's name right. Dan Schneider, that's it. Yeah. I didn't want to inadvertently, like, you know, uh. Like it, you know, implicate the, the the creator of Everyone Loves Raymond when I get the name wrong, you know, <laughs> or some other show. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying like we should be careful of him because he's a powerful guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he might not let us be under whatever it is a uh, Sam and Drake reunion. <laughs> uh, from fostering a toxic workplace to predators. Yeah, I, again, this is a weird, this is a weird analogy. It's like it's like from I don't care about the toxic workplace. Stop having sex with children. Right. That's. They, yeah, that's all I care about. Let's triage that, <laughs> and then we could deal with toxic toxicity. On set, Nickelodeon. Here's everything that came out so far. Okay. After the mid-March premiere of Investigation Discovery's docu series "Quiet on Set: The Dark Side of Kids TV," audience has got a behind-the-scenes. What's look. the light side, by the way? <laughs> What's the light side of kids TV? Yeah, it's like it seems like every ten years, it's just like, nope, this was a, a pedo fest too. Didn't so, there was a time when children weren't like. Like Nickelodeon didn't exist. I watched this stuff as a kid. We've talked in the past how I used to watch that show 15, even though I wasn't allowed to. And, and Ryan Gosling was on it, and I didn't even know who he was. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't need to be the case. I don't you I don't think kids need to watch kids. I don't think so. Either. I think I think there was a time when he used to watch the Three Stooges and the Marx Brothers, and they were fine. Yeah. If anything, they were better off, even though they didn't have like you, you know have, like, essential sh- vitamins and, 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 and penicillin. You did have like a Judy Judy Garland watching some director crush a butterfly to make her cry before before scenes or whatever. Uh, was that I, with her eyes or? Um, I'm not sure, but did I she do something I think it was with, Judy Garland that I heard that anecdote about. So some guy crushed a butter. Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't like crush her. If you want, you know, he didn't. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying. I'm saying I'd rather he crush a butterfly and made her cry than like you know. Yeah. Take her. I don't want to say this to Canada. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, that I don't know. That may have happened too. I'm not well, sure. Well, don't bury the lead, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, they all got fu- you know they all got fucked. Shirley Temple, uh, what's her name? Did she? I mean, I don't mean I don't mean literally fucked, but like fucked over in some one way or another. Was she molested? I mean, it makes sense. Um, that, no, it doesn't make sense. I, I, I would venture to say it doesn't make sense to do that. But like it makes it, it, that's everyone seems to. I've never heard of a kid who had a great child experience yeah mickey rooney maybe jake gyllenhaal but his dad was in the biz yeah he was like a kid and and, and the kid from uh mighty ducks at least one of them i think one of them went to jail though <laughs> forget which one it's kind of, uh, kind of a grab bag yeah um but yeah i feel like maybe maybe just no more maybe, maybe no more child actors just I don't know. Get, why don't we just get like you know, we, we can just Photoshop or whatever, CG, After Effects, adults. We'll get Joe Pantaloni. Remember Joe Pantaloni? He was Cypher in the Matrix. He was a Ralphie in the Sopranos. Just like get put his head onto the, the you know a, a CG child's oh, body. Oh yeah, yeah. For Joey sure. Pan, Joey Pan, full, make his full screen. He could totally be make a his kid. full screen. Yeah, this guy, Joe Pantaloni. He's a living legend. He's seventy two now, but seventy two years young. I feel like he could easily play. He's a very good actor. He's in, he was in Memento, Bad Boys, uh, Baby's Day Out. The Goonies. The Go- oh, he's in The Goonies? Interesting. Well, I remember him in The Goonies. He's, he's full of surprises. Why not just shove his face onto like a little robot child body? Mm. And that's child cinema from now on. We could also get, you know, um, <laughs> like we, 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 we can maybe make like a CG River Phoenix. Like right before he died. Yeah. Scan him, put him on a robot. Like, we're going to have robots. How about instead of, you know, them all just, you know, being, like, props for, like, you know, um, like, what do robots even do nowadays? They just, Boston Dynamics is just going around having robots, you know, like, hunt babies 
in the, in the fields of Boston. <laughs> right. Right. Like a robot dog scaring people. You just you just, you make little robot children and you put them in the shows. <laughs> we, we we can't trust these people. We can't trust the parents. I don't. Home improvement wasn't better because there was kids in it. Right. right? Or or anything. I'm trying to think of a show that you need a kid in. Everyone loves Raymond. Everyone that was a fun show. The kids were nothing. Yeah. Yeah, the kids should just be exposition. The you kids, talk about your they kids. should just be cardboard cutouts. <laughs> I mean, you know, we accept this like, I mean, it's not like it's not like these things are shot in a realistic way anyway. They're just props. It's like they're, they're placeholders. Why do we need, we don't need realism for three camera sitcoms. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a good point. Just to have a cardboard little rat kid. <laughs> Even that, I mean, I mean, I'm not even sure. What, what, just I mean, if you need a baby, just have a have a little dog in a in a bonnet. Yeah, this yeah. is our baby. <laughs> this is our baby. <laughs> and, you, and you throw it, you can throw it against the wall, then no one will care. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, it'll be fine. I don't know why. And I mean, I used to watch Nickelodeon a lot as a kid, and they're always covering these kids in fluids. Dropping slime on them. I mean, oh I don't, yeah, it's all very evocative of something. I don't nothing good. I mean, like, and and the uh, I, I believe you didn't notice the magic word because it, it all start that all started with a show called "You Can't Do That on Television," which I liked as a kid because it seemed irreverent. But they love the, the, the pedos love irreverence. Mm. Oh, the parent! The parents wanted to want you to see this, but we'll show it to you. It's very groomy. Mm. And um, and the and the thing was, any if you ever said I don't know on that show, it was like a sketch show. But if someone said I don't know, they covered you and they drop slime on you. <laughs> so I don't, I don't. It just seemed it just seemed like a weird initiation into like a into a secret world of slimes. Yeah, different different fluids. You're trying to erase your your thought process. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, like. Well, <laughs> Why shouldn't I do this? I don't know. Here you go. <laughs> You're coming in my fucking salon. It's fun for the whole family, and it produces a Pavlovian response. Right. <laughs> Where's Billy? I don't know. He has some gum. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, yeah. going back to this. Going back to what? Um, oh, the Nickelodeon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the series, which has been watched by more than 16 million viewers and sets streaming records on Max, explores allegations of discriminatory behavior. How about, how about, how about you write about the content, not the streaming, the records on Max? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, a lot of people, too. We, 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 have, we made a lot of money making this documentary about rape. <laughs> it's fine. Look, it's cap, look America's capital. What do we do? Mm. I'm, I'm not trying to rewrite Adam Smith here. Let me don't put that front and center. Hey, we probably, we made a lot of money. <laughs> Um, who, uh, who produced the documentary? Dan Schneider. <laughs> open on set, uh, or sorry, quiet on set. Open, uh, uh, open on set. Could have been a name for it too. Uh, it, quiet on set opens with a disclaimer. Quote: I will warn you if you were a child of the '90s, this is going to ruin that for you. Unquote. That hey, seems like the lowest priority I've ever heard in my life. It's sort of it's a little too pithy for a, for a documentary that's going to be about child rape. Yeah. Hey, I gotta be honest. With you. I, don't, I don't know who's doing season the first person. By the way. It's like fucking Sally Struthers coming on camera going, like, I got to tell you something. <laughs> if you, like, double there, well, <laughs> this is going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, there's just no abuse that they won't, like, ruin with their with their just. At <laughs> attempts at sassiness. Right. <laughs> there's just, it's just no one, no, there's nothing Americans love better than being sassy about trauma. Yeah. About right. child trauma. R.I.P. your childhood. <laughs> right. And theirs. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> and your T cell <laughs> Why is it AIDS? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> In response to the Who is Dan Schneider and what are the allegations against? Him? Yeah, let's just get into this. Uh once described as Nickelodeon's golden boy. Who said this? Yeah. <laughs> the one thing kids don't know and didn't know is who the fuck Dan Schneider was. <laughs> I, I guarantee I, I this is like th these shows seem to be after my time because I, I remember Drake and Josh, like, I never saw it. Like, this was all, I think Amanda, Amanda, is Amanda Bynes, right? Uh, Amanda Bynes, yeah. I think she was on that show, Roadhouse or whatever. It was on SNCC. SNCC was like their, at the time, when I, like, around the time, I, I stopped watching it. When it, was, it was, Are You Afraid of the Dark was on SNCC. You remember that? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And it was, in, it was their Saturday Night lineup that was kind of new at the time in the 90s. And I, th I think there was a show called Roundhouse, maybe it was. 
like a sketch show, and I think she was on that mm. first. So I like that, but you know, but by the time Drake and Josh came out, I was a, a young adult reading, I don't know, Orwell. <laughs> <laughs> I was dumb with Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan Schneider created a number of the most successful live action shows in Nickelodeon history. His career at the Kids Network began in, ni- in the 1990s when he worked as a writer and producer. Eventually, he would go on to create The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, Drake and Josh, and iCarly. He- and, alter- and, 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 and personality alters. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> countless personality alters. Uh, he parted ways with Nickelodeon in 2018 and he was accused of creating, when he was accused of creating a hostile work environment. In a gender discrimination and hostile workplace claim that was filed in, two, in, in the year 2000, a writer on The Amanda Show claimed that Schneider made her uncomfortable by persistently requesting messages. Mas- massages, not messages. Oh, massages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you just let me know when you're going to be late to work? <laughs> you're, you're harassing me. <laughs> when but, I, Carly, started Jeanette McCurdy, who I think was that blonde girl who was up top, who I've seen... In like, yeah, whatever, clips or whatever that they show over this stuff. Uh, like, I'm aware of these shows. It's not, I'm not so far removed. It's like, I was more just like, I was, I think, I think like, I, I had like bosses who had kids and they were like, this would be on. It was a weird thing. I, 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 I've been aware over the years. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure when I was watching Nickelodeon, these shows weren't quite as insipid. Mm. I remember like my, my, my bosses was like kids and like, they'd be happy to be on. And I'd be like, wait, what is this? Disney? Like, no, it's Nickelodeon. This is Nickelodeon? What happened to the irreverent and anarchic spirit? <laughs> but no, but it was like, you know, but I was giving like Brendan Stimpy and Doug. Right. It seemed a little better. Oh, yeah, for I sure. I think this Schneider guy may have, like, you know, been part of this issue. Oh, yeah, no, he was definitely part of the degradation of whatever they were doing before that. Like, it's yeah. like, yeah, Doug, Ren and Stimpy, they're, yeah, they're, those shows had some, like, a, you know, pathos. Ind- yeah, artistic merit. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm pretty sure the guy who made Ren and Stimpy uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't clean. Yeah. I think uh, he. Oh, no, yeah, he. Sean Kay. He had some kind of uh, thing. I think, I think yeah. he uh, recruited some uh, some fans. He may have been worse than Dan Schneider. Yeah. <laughs> They're in the same, yeah. same, same, same Who can parse this? wheelhouse. I think the only people who are qualified to parse that are uh, people you don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> when when I Carly Shar Jeanette Star, Star Jeanette McCurdy published her memoir, I'm glad my mom died. Many readers speculated she was calling out Schneider when she wrote about an executive that pressured her into drinking alcohol, gave her an unwanted massage, and pitted young a- actors against each other. I mean, honestly, if you're writing a book, if some child starts writing a book about getting an unwanted massage, that's, that's never like the end of it, right? No. That's just what they were like at that point willing to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, someone gave me a, I'm or they're just the biggest. Well, you shouldn't be massaging the kids. It was kind of hard to say. Yeah, that roach <laughs> comes out of the rug, like just we just in the process of writing a, com- a memoir on a completely unrelated subject. Yeah. It's like it's it's that's. <laughs> hey, my mom's a scumbag, and this guy has a fucking massage. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably more in the walls somewhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in fact, McCurdy and her salmon cat co-star Ariana Grande. Salmon. Oh, so oh, this is oh, she's not the girl from my Carly. Who's uh, salmon cat? I have no. I don't idea. know. I I shouldn't have pretended to even. Pre- Vaguely know who these people are. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, filed complaints about a producer on their show. Insider reports that an investigation launched in 2013 found inappropriate behavior on the set of the iCarly spinoff. We're not going to find anything good here. Yeah. Let's move on to some realistic. Let's end on a high note. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is just. This is not getting better. I'm, I'm making. A, I'm making a call. <laughs> Let's just move on to reborn baby dolls. <laughs> Whatever this nightmare is. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh my god! Re- <laughs> reborn, reborn dolls look just like real life babies. Why people buy them may surprise you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to guess why people? Do you think it would surprise you? I mean, we did kind of. I looked this over before, and I didn't. No, I mean, he's trying to. He, the weird thing is, he's teasing. Like child molestation like via doll. Yeah. But I don't think that is the point of the story. No, it's not. It's just, it's, it, the, no story can be bizarre enough, tragic enough, inappropriate for these vultures who call themselves journalists to not make them creepier. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, this is a story about like tricking people with dementia with like realistic dolls. How about we also tease pedophilia? <laughs> I mean, it's not. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, two dozen lifelike babies lie nestled in a nursery right now in Tracy Nope's Missouri home. Except the cribs and bathrooms. Is that the g- woman from Parks and Rec? I think that is her name, right? <laughs> so, oh, Leslie Nope. Oh, Leslie Nope. Okay. So weird. Except the cribs and bassinets aren't holding real babies. They're holding guns. <laughs> They're, holding... <laughs> They're dolls. <laughs> you might have come across the reborn dolls in the nope. past. Nope. No, nope. I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, these are dolls that artists designed to specifically resemble babies. Artists? <laughs> <laughs> These are dolls that the that the creeps specifically <laughs> <laughs> designed to resemble babies. Why is the mouth open? Yeah. Why is the mouth open? <laughs> <laughs> make make it with the mouth closed. <laughs> the dolls. That's where you can feed it. <laughs> These dolls look so real. This is, this journalist is like really into this. Yeah, this is a problem. Uh, these dolls look so real. It's almost scary. But before you write them off, you should know reborn dolls have proven therapeutic benefits, particularly for those with dementia. All right, what's this guy's name? What's this guy's name? <laughs> Hold on. What's this guy's name? David Oliver? Someone. Do a deep. This is a guy. He's like, I, imagine being shown. Let's just assume that they were babies. <laughs> what are those things called? Real dolls? Those adult dolls that oh, people yeah. use for sex? Yeah. <laughs> These are actually very good for people with uh, scoliosis. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing right now. A, l- a lunatic <laughs> trying try to rationalize why a doll exists. Yeah. They're good. No, this, this helps treat people with dementia. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Right. <laughs> no, we give it. It's like. <laughs> no, nobody would judge it if you didn't call attention to it. Well, I would. <laughs> No, no. I mean, you. I hate to disagree with you, but I would. No, <laughs> and it's not exactly the point. But but you know is that he's picked. Who is this treat? I mean, is it treat people who will remember the lie that you're telling? No. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. People with dementia, people who can't verify that they're not being treated with this doll. <laughs> this is. This I is mean, a, they've got to every once in a while. They say it's helpful, but I feel like every once in a while a dementia patient must, must look down, realize they're holding a fake baby, right. and freak the fuck out. Is this person, I would. Is this... I realized I was holding a fake baby. <laughs> yes. Like, I thought that was like, my grandkid a second ago, and I'm like, oh, its eyes don't move. Yeah. Holy shit. No, you like, this is, this is going to give them schizophrenia. Yeah. <laughs> Scroll down. Look at this person. This person, does this person look calm and, and soothed? <laughs> this is, this is, this is. This is like that documentary where the priests were, you know, working in the with the deaf blind kids. Remember? Yeah. How'd, how'd that one work out? Right. <laughs> Doll therapy improves emotional state of people with dementia. What started out as volunteer work for BB became a business. She now brings her thirty-two babies, sometimes eight at a time, to dementia patients across Connecticut and Massachusetts. Okay, so, so this, this is all one middle-aged woman's scam, right? They've, they've, she's sold all of these different, like you know, no, nobody, nobody ever tries to. Probably not, not that many people come to like retirement homes and try to pitch them on things. Well, look, they they, they recruited B, BB's her name. Someone recruited BB. We need we we need a front. Yeah. <laughs> all right, preferably a woman. We can go to these dementia facilities. I mean, this this is this is horrible. <laughs> this is real. This is this is the darkest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this is this is this is the this is the this is the the definition of iceberg theory. <laughs> I think I don't really I don't actually know the definition. I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but it's <laughs> funny. <laughs> this is a problem. Um, research backs it up too. What research? God. What research? <laughs> Doll, Dr. Ther- Mangala? doll therapy improves the emotional state of people with dementia, diminishes disruptive behaviors, and promotes communication, according to a 2022 study. Oh, this is oh, freaky. Oh, ba- a doll? Yeah. Enough. <laughs> this is... Why is the world not ending? <laughs> Please end it. <laughs> why is this... Well, we're not getting better. Oh. It's not going to improve. This is just like the Nickelodeon story. It is no coming out of this. <laughs> <laughs> they they construct a whole nursery around these things. This is a problem. This is this is freaky. We have a Patreon. <laughs> you get an extra episode every week. If it's you great. Want. <laughs> it's great. 
We'll try not to talk about this anymore. <laughs> Just sign up, get five dollars a month, whatever. We're we gonna buy one of these dolls instead. Is that your game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Subscribe to our Patreon, or or this will be your life. <laughs> it's not getting better. Um, I don't know what to tell you. So look, this all started on Good Friday. And ends on the what is this? What is it? Why? Why? It says love you. <laughs> Sneeze that. <laughs> I can't deal with this. <laughs> this is what's this? Uh, ambient? Is this, I don't know what this is an ad for up there, but ambient gaslighting. <laughs> I feel like this is just this. This is ambient gaslighting. <laughs> oh, that's what this is. Ambient gaslighting. <laughs> I'm just being. I'm. I'm just being. This is like what they show you to get you to swallow. This is how theories about gang stalking develop. <laughs> I feel like I'm being gang stalked by the news. They came to my home and they put a fake child in my hand and yeah. said it was my grandchild. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to Comp. Uh, make sure, you know, look, you hit that like and subscribe button, I guess. Please. <laughs> the least you can do. <laughs> We're really going through this one. Um, sign up for the Patreon if you like. Otherwise... Yeah, we'll see you next week. Have a great week.